The road to Scottish Summit starts here. This is the Power Platform Podcast. Join Rex de Koning, Anna Inez Urrutia de Sousa and Paddy Byrne as they talk to the Microsoft community about their stories. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Power Platform Podcast. Uh, we always have trouble with the podcast word. I don't know why. Um, but welcome. Uh, my name is Anna, and I'm here with you in this uh, series of Scottish Summit um, recordings that we're doing with uh, our speakers and some other guests. So thank you for being here. Rex? Well, I'm Rex de Koning, uh, one of the co-hosts, and you forgot one of the most important things that we're sponsored by Proximo 3 nowadays. Yes. Don't forget right. that one. So um, we have it there. We have him uh, in, in the corner with the red walls. Uh, today we don't have Paddy. He is he's sick, unfortunately, but we have a very good replacement. A very good replacement. I'll take that as a compliment. Yes, I am... <laughs> Mark Christie, you can tell by the dulcet tone, just the horrible voice, you know who it is. I am just here to make everyone's life a misery and see how many people will cry on this one call. <laughs> oh my God. Cookie, please introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Carl Cookson, uh, community member. Uh, that's about it, really. Okay. Before we start, I just want to pick a bone with you guys because um, I just watched Sarah Fenner's podcast, and you both, both of you, inferred. I'm talking about Rex and Anna that no one else had won the pub quiz, and you think you'll find that Alison and I and a team of others, including uh, um, Andrew Welsh and others. Won it in the 2020. That doesn't Ooh. count. Why does it? It was in the Scottish Summit in 2020. I'm not sure how it count. It doesn't count. I am calling out Andrew Bibby to make sure he listens to this and takes um, exception to the lying that Sarah Fenner did and ban her from <laughs> this year's event. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy that you come out with this. Because this finally puts the that that one team a bit down that they didn't win every episode so far. Oh. So you I, are I'm, the I'm worst. glad you mentioned this. You're no, the worst. So that was actually a, a really good one because that was at Incrementals office. And it was the first right. one that we done. It was at the top of the stairs. I actually have one of my favorite photos that I've got of like all Scottish summits. I have all of those um trophies laid out under like a big white wall with some light shine on it's actually an amazing picture it's just a pity that you've got all the trophies now i've actually got two i've got this one and i managed to got welsh's so i've got two here that i've never actually managed to uh give to andrew welsh but uh, at some point maybe he'll get it but um, well he is speaking at oh, the 24 okay, yeah. event I'll, so I'll, I'll put it in my bag yeah and then just sneak it into his bag and he'll be like what the hell is this? <laughs> I have just say it doesn't count because I was not part of the community back then. So, you know, what was before myself didn't count to me. So oh, that, that's not how things work, you know. <laughs> I know. I know. All right. Mark, do you have a, any icebreaker for Carl? Icebreakers, right. So, Anna, you see, you used to do a lot of flying, didn't you? Yeah. So that I used like to. So do you, have you done it recently? I haven't done it in quite some time now, but I'm really looking forward to do it again. Okay. So, Carl, with that in mind, have you ever seen anyone else in this room, maybe in Seattle, go flying in any way? That I don't remember. I mean, that's probably saying something about what happened in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> Were you not in the room at the time when I came flying down the stairs, decided to jump? Say again. Oh, I can't remember any of this. Okay. So so there was the icebreaker that, that you can't even remember. So at, in Seattle, we were all shit. There was me, Carl, Ian, Marlon, Thomas. Aaron. Yeah. Aaron and Mike. Mike. Yeah. Mike. 
Yeah, we had, it was a huge place. We had like a big staircase. And I think you maybe just came back in at that time. I literally decided to jump off like the second bottom step and miss every other step and land on the floor. And like, couldn't move for about five minutes, but to just lie on the floor. I, I think that. everyone actually lost the sense of being able to breathe at times. So that was my flying expedition. But I think we uh, we just sat laughing at you rather than actually coming to your aid or anything. Oh, hundred percent, yes, hundred percent. I was lying there, trying to act all cool like it wasn't a sore and that I meant one meant. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that just did not happen. That was like a flying one. And we need to book that place again. So um, it's not available yet. I did not check. Not available yet. No. So we are looking into it again, and hopefully the things we're now filming the day after the MVPs were announced. And I don't know whether Rex has been congratulations on his MVP since on this show, but you know he's joined the ranks as well. So hopefully he'll be in Seattle with us. Uh, yes. I, I will be for sure. Yeah, that would awesome. be great. I do have another question, Carl. Um, do you want a Dr Pepper? No, I do not want a Dr Pepper. <laughs> Anna has these annoying habits of trying to give me things that I don't want, and Dr Pepper being the main thing. Yes. Why Dr. Pepper? It's just he things that, she's got that she doesn't want and she just wants to pile them off onto someone by yeah. pretending to be nice. So, Anna, what you need to do going forward is just keep a bottle of Dr. Pepper in your bag and whenever you see him, sneak it into his bag. <laughs> I will do that. That's a great idea. So I'll get uh, very quickly. The, the next time you speak to Benedict, ask him if there's anything like that, because he was looking for a pen at an event one day and I just popped one in his pocket. Ever since then, I put things in his pocket. <laughs> I'll watch how I phrase this. Um, like I was, if we're in a restaurant, I'll steal forks and put them in his pocket. And it's not until he gets back to wherever he's going, he notices he's got like pocket full of pens, pencils, cutlery, badges. Cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll start that doing that strategy. I like it. Yeah. I, if you want to do it with me, I take credit card and cash. Yeah, I can imagine that. Uh, Rex. Yeah, so, uh, Carl Cookie, uh, we all know you as Cookie. Uh, people that don't know you know you as Carl Cookson. Uh, can, can you tell a little about what you do in the community, what you do in day to day life? Yeah, uh, day to day life. Um, I work for Capgemini UK, which is the platinum sponsor of the Scottish Summit this year. Thank you very which much. I'm really quite excited about, and maybe we talk a bit later in the future about how it's going to be. Um, um, as a pre sales architect, so talking with people about what they want, um, how the, the Power Platform can help them, and Dynamics 365 can help them sizing up solutions, working at how long things take, how much long things cost, and responding to clients as we go, effectively. Um, that's my day job. Um, in the community, um, I like being in the background mainly. Um, at Scottish Summit, I do a lot of the, some of the tech, of the easier bits of the tech, the ideas that come out of Mark's head, and uh, uh, make them into fruition, like sending out emails to to the speakers and doing all the configuration that we've done in the Dynamics app um, for that. Um, for South Coast Summit, I'm a bit more involved, um, helping Aaron and um, um, Nathan on that one to um, coordinate things, because that's local to where I live. Um, and we're going to see the air show in a couple of weeks, and Nathan and I, which is a nice little bonus. Um, and helping out where I can in the community, really. Um, and probably what got me my MVP was my, the XRM toolbox tools that I've done, um, which I'm still working on slowly um, as a hobby, really, more than anything else, um, to update and create new tools that just make everyone's lives a bit easier, hopefully. And then I do a lot of speaking. I do a lot of conference talks, get around the world with my hobby, which is you know, speaking at conferences and having having a chat with people that I know, and, you know, and, and that's pretty much started with Scottish Summit, really. Um, 
so it's good to hear good to be there and good to do support in it again that's good you know what you started from the bottom now he's here right i've got i'm just going to take over your podcast so yeah go worse. ahead go ahead it's, uh... so Fiki, two things what is the favorite tool you've ever built for xrm toolbox uh the float of Isium. uh it's still probably one of the most popular ones so converting your uh, flow design into something that you can uh, document so it's always around documentation most of my tools and, and helping the consultant to do their job um, and that's probably the f my favorite one because it was quite a long and cumbersome process and it got quite a bit of attention in Microsoft when it came out um, just because they you know they, they 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 use it you can see that on the stats and, and it's just made that you know they can point people at it so um, yeah it's one of those things that has got a bit of a um, attraction when it came out um and it's probably one of the favorite ones because it's a good nice visual one okay and what is a favorite tool that you use that you didn't build uh sql for cds mark carrington um because my history i was i worked on pivotal crm for those in the old school that don't know it probably around before anna was born to be honest um it, it was a uh, crm based around sql so using SQL is one of the, the crooks of, of updating, et cetera. So my SQL uh, skills were uh, you know, still pretty good. And therefore it's quite an intuitive tool for me to be able to do updates and, and modification of data. And that's probably one of the quickest tools I know to delete thousands of records. It, it, it beats everything that Microsoft have done and it really works quite well the way that Mark has made to do all the batching on that has been pretty impressive. No, I do. I love a good old SQL, SQL command or stored procedure. It's great fun. That goes back to what CRM three. And yeah, yeah. Old days, where you used to actually have to select star from table where blah 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 or all the like days. The choice. Okay, Anna, you can have the screen back. Okay, now. thank you so much. Um, can you tell us, uh, a you already spoiled the question, but it doesn't matter. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about like your involvement in South, South see, Scottish Summit uh, in the past and what you have done? You already said a bit, but um, what was like your role with yeah, it? In 2020, um, I was there as a sponsor, not for my current employer. Um, and that was um, my first view of it, which was a bit different. It's always a bit different when you go there as a sponsor because there's always that corporate side that you need to entertain effectively and meet the expectations of, of the people that are paying for you to be there. Um, 2021 was a virtual, so I think I did three, uh, one of the channels in that. Um, my memory is a bit foggy of those sort of things. And then we get to 2022, which was a real great event um, as a speaker and helping out as well, um, doing the lanyards, you know, that sort of thing, and just being general God's, uh, general dog's body for anything that people wanted to do. And then in the ver in the Manchester version, um, just there as a helper as well, but um, just just being there, being around, trying to, to help where I can. And not being at the forefront like Mark and Zoe and and, and, and Ian and, and Matt, but um, just that next stage back of helping like you guys do, just volunteering and picking up things that need to be done. Very and then, good. And this year is the same. It's really, hopefully, that we'll get there and, and rinse and repeat. New venue, um, new location, long journey to get there, but hopefully everything will be great and people will enjoy it. So you, this time around, you're kind of back as both a, a helper, a speaker, mm. but also as a part of the Platinum Sponsors. Do CapGem and I have anything cool set up or any themes that they're going with for, for, the, for the event? We're still debating what we're going to do. Um, where you weren't in, in uh, Brussels, any of you, were you? So you probably missed what we did there. Um, but we're, we're trying to see whether we're going to bring an artist with us to do some caricatures and put them all over the walls like we did in Brussels, which went down really quite well. Um, 
and then or we we back that off with something else so i just want to see how we get on really and make a decision because it's it's uh it's a different event obviously um and yeah. more community driven so we might have to change what we're doing but that's in the planning process now um now we've got brussels out of the way we can start on the next one so that's you know it's just the next thing and that's what it is now it's going to be good nice big booth prime location as soon as you come in and you always, don't have to tell it to me now. You've already sold it to me, Mark. You no, don't. no, no. I mean, it's one of these things I, I always say. It, like, these events never happen without sponsors. Um, Absolutely. And I think, you know, just putting the corporate hat on, it, it is very much a passion of mine for, for the large partners to do their bit to to promote and, and build this community and keep the community going because, you know, they rely on a lot of the, the people that are, are going to be there and, and use it as a training ground and, and a... And a customer and an employee outreach um so as many of those larger partners and, and the smaller ones that we need to encourage to be there and, and do that bit yeah it's a good place to to also see who's joining the community if there are people that are coming to the first event that are maybe just getting into the power platform it's also a really good thing for for recruitment to see who's there to get your name out front and center to think if people are going to be looking to join partners stepping up from from end users it's good to get your name in the forefront of their, their minds as well and that's a lot of it part of it is for us is that brand awareness when they when people think about dynamics or power platform we're on that list with the other partners that are there um, and we're either as a, an employee as, as the next role or, or as a customer yeah good i really like the idea of the current current car, how do you say <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll get people to we'll get people to draw you as you try to say caricature okay Rex, I think that you have a question for Cookie. Yeah, well, also this one was basically mostly answered. To how do you yeah. your involvement in in the current, current Scottish summit? Because you said you were working in a tech. Uh, I, I heard some rumors, rumors that you might be a speaker again this this year. Yeah, I'm really quite excited about that. We've organised uh, Jonas Rapp, the the godfather of uh, Fetch XML, to come over. And talk with me um, and um, Matt. I think can't remember now. Yeah, Matt Beard on on XRM Toolbox and and everything and everything to do with it. So that will be a fun session. I've never spoken with Jonas before. Big big fanboy of Jonas when I first met him, probably at Scottish Summit actually. Um, back in the day, um, it's one of you know. And I think you were you were saying this. Sarah was saying this on her podcast that. Um, a lot of these events are meeting your heroes and going hang on a minute you know and then and then they become friends you know and yeah it's one of those melting pots of of everyone that comes together in, in one community so it's really quite a unique event in our calendar and something that we we should be you know pushing as much as we can to get people there seeing new faces and 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 getting that next generation of folks in yeah one of the things that we have discussed quite a lot with the guests that we had guests that we had in the podcast is like the opportunity that is given in Scottish Summit to have new speakers, to hear new voices. And I think that is that is like something that that is great. Uh, I started speaking in Scottish Summit and then, you know, I'm now a friend of yours. So, you know, like being able to what? I'm not a, your friend. OK, that wasn't me. I didn't know. Look at her face. At his face, sorry. Um, you no, know, so but the, most of the most of the guests have that they started speaking at, at Scottish Summit as, as first time. Same for me. Uh, my first involvement in the in the community was with Scottish Summit, and, and a lot of guests have the same. So it's really uh, well, not the correct word, but a breeding ground for for new people in the community. Yeah, I think a lot of people do because of the way that um, we rate speakers there's very much a drive to get rid of the names and not know who they yeah. are and i know mark and i have had discussions about some of the the characters in the in the community that insist to be there and and you know everyone's got the same chance so we we 
you know, there's 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 definitely times where some of the big names haven't managed to get through, and and that's because of the, they've not put the effort in to the description, and someone yeah. else has done it for you know has beat them to it. And I love the the new speakers as well. You know, there was a a girl from Cap Gemini that spoke in Manchester for the first time, and she was she was so nervous about it. But the fact that we got a group setting for her, we got Vivian in as an experienced uh, presenter to help her out, and she had a couple of ladies from from the Cap Gemini team to be on that panel. Just made it so much easier for her, and she's got so much confidence. And and she's she's uh, submitted and she's speaking again. So and you know pro, you know not through Cap Gemini, but on her own back, you know, because she wanted to be there. Um, so it's all. That seeing her at like 19 come through and be able to do that sort of thing, something I would never have done at 19. No. It's a great thing, um, and hopefully that will continue. It's also one of the things as well is we do have a lot of experienced speakers, and I think everyone's heard the same speakers to the same session at different events around the globe. What I kind of set out and done with everyone was to try and challenge these experienced speakers to pair up with somebody who's looking to just get into an event. If they're they're thinking about it, chat with them, run through the session with them. I, I personally, and I don't know about everyone else, I get more joy out of somebody new coming in and doing a session and enjoying that session. I get more out of helping somebody do that than I do delivering my own session. Yep, I yeah, agree. Absolutely. I think I think you're, you're you're one of those people that, that don't like speaking and probably do it uh, just to get through um, a lot of the time. But I, I agree with you. I totally agree. I think that the whole joint sessions and we should encourage that more um, yeah. and find a way of pairing people up to do those things. I know there's mentorship programs and you know, Norwegian Summit's doing a great job at that. But sometimes it's it's like a bit more than just seeing how good their session is it's getting involved and doing it with them and, and doing a pair because you know i i've done sessions with lots of different people and it's so much easier with the pair so much easier yeah and it just takes all the pressure off you're only yeah. doing half the time you've got someone to to banter off and discuss ideas with yeah and if, if you get lost somebody to help you get and get exactly. on your way again yeah Exactly. I also think panel sessions are a really good way of getting into it as well. Yeah. Yeah, they're really awesome. That way, you're splitting it even more. Like, I know, Carl, you've got the session with Jonas and Matt. I think that will probably expand the more people that that are there, that if they do XRM toolbox or tools for it or plugins, that they will just be thrown onto that schedule. So there'll be multiple people, I think, do, delivering that with Jonas as the main person, but yeah, like, yeah. Rex, if, where were we recently? Was it Dynamics Minds? Dynamics Minds, yeah, we had a... Now, we how had did a you enjoy that panel session? It was so awesome and relatively easy, especially if, if well, I'm, I'm kind of an introvert, I don't speak that easy, um, but if you're in you're in a setting with people that you know, and of course you have your, you have your audience, yeah. but just because you... Uh, complement each other it's so much easier to tell your story to to hook up to an, to another story and then go from there and it's just a lot of fun and i think there's there's definitely there's obviously some very outspoken people in our in our community and pairing them up with some of the the quieter ones in a panel session is certainly something that um has really worked in the past you know you've got you know the people that you know know their stuff but not the loudest and, and brashest paired up with others that you know are that that really work in a, in a in that sort of communal setting yeah and that's where that session that we done was quite an interesting one it was about introverts and extroverts it was like how to as an introvert speak and we had malin on the panel yeah. who obviously is the loudest most obnoxious person you can get so <laughs> it, it's like one extreme to the other but it's that pairing the right people up so that if somebody who's new speaking maybe does get lost for words or can't quite think of the answer the more experienced people on that panel can then come in say a few words give that person two or three seconds to kind of think about where they're going and allow them to then continue so i mean that's one of the things and that's one of the reasons that there's a lot more panel sessions with a lot more new speakers and i think it's worked well with me 
I mean, I've done several with Chris Huntingford and it's worked well where he's this flamboyant over the top and I just sort of bring it back to reason. So it's very much a yin and yang in those scenarios where yeah. I'm the sensible one and he's the one that's, you know, blazing away and trying to get everything done. <laughs> that's why we have Mark here to be the sensible one while we all shout. Yeah. <laughs> um what you said mark for me is really important the fact that um it I, doesn't make me sad or you know or questioning the organization of the event if i don't get selected because that means that someone else will get a space that probably they didn't have before and the platform to start you know growing and that that is something that i think it's very good so i'm i'm like really uh, I don't know how's the word, but I like that we review the sessions without any, without having any idea of who we're voting for or rank and the ranking we're doing. It, it, it's a perfect way. So only you, you have to really base it on, on on the description itself. You have no idea who the speaker is or. And I think it's been great that we've been able to give proper feedback as well. That that whole yeah. 360, because a lot of the time when you get rejected on session eyes or whatever all they've done is click through good bad you know a one two three score on a on a, on a session yeah. and yeah you yeah. get the, the stuff bubbling to the top that is great but there's no feedback mechanism there's no actually that description is means nothing to me that uh, title could be do with improving you know it's that sort of feedback that it has been great for scottish summit even though it took quite a while but people have uh, really embraced the fact that we were giving that feedback yeah, and I think if you are a, an experienced speaker, a new speaker, however, wherever you are on your journey, it, it's good just to be able to get that that little bit of feedback. Even if you had your, your session accepted, it's good to know what the general consensus was on it as well. Um, we are slightly going to tweak it, um, the model for that, so that if you're within, it's only going to be either the extreme highs or the extreme low ratings that you're going to have to put a comment in. So if you're between maybe 40 and 70 points, you'll get, maybe you, you'll you not have to have feedback on that. It's if you're below 40 or above 70, you'll then get some some feedback as well. It then just allows people to give more more feedback and more detailed feedback. Yeah, I think you just need to learn from that and, and watch out for people that are cheating the review system as well, you know, repeated um, uh, uh, descriptions and, and feedback, you know, that sort of thing just irks me. But we'll just have to d learn from it and move on. And ne next two years' time, is it, I guess? You're not announced that yet, but I assume at some point you will. Um, in the nearest future, um, do it all again. So, um, Hopefully that will be um, something that we can do then. Yeah, or be more selective with the people that we, we, we well, choose to, yeah. to do that. I mean, everyone's a volunteer. Everyone gives up their time. Um, but yeah, we just have to have, have to look at putting the right resources on the right tasks. Correct. Yeah. Good, Cookie. Mm. Um, in terms of Scottish Summit twenty twenty four October um what are you looking for to bring back home and your answer could be you know anything you'd like what do you want to look the t-shirt that mark's got me i think um um because i like a sweary t-shirt um i'm not going to show you my current t-shirt because uh i love it that t-shirt is very good get a bit uh, um problematic and and you know experiences the, the whole community coming together in october uh, in a different location um and really having a great time i think that's where um I, you know it's like i say it's my hobby and i really do want those weekends and i need those weekends for my mental yeah. health so it's really um something that i enjoy and i want to embrace again um Learn, you know, learning, learning from everybody about what is the the right way to do things, an innovative way to do things. That's the sort, you know, learning new things and and getting involved with it all again is something that I want to carry on with. He found it. 
You muted that. Oh, of course I found it. Oh, come on, show it to us. Oh, this one, yeah. <laughs> so, it is the Bobak t-shirt. I have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> I, yeah, I, didn't right. I have to. I had to look it up when he yeah, yeah, Google it sometime, but I, I know what it is now. But we're not going to say it. But yeah, don't Google it now. You're on the call. <laughs> Bob. No, between... B A W. B -A -W. No, I don't understand how it's even spelled. Okay. <laughs> Good. So you 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 are looking forward to come back, like not only with new experiences or new like concepts, but also, uh, yeah, getting to know new people and network and so on. Uh, one of the recommendations that we give everyone that you know everyone that's listening to the podcast and is the first time going, is take one or two days off after the conference. <laughs> Do you have any other advice? It's a long way from Aberdeen down to where I live, and I, I know I'm not the furthest away, but um, yeah, definitely make sure that you're uh, you get on that plane, uh, get on that train, because um, there's a few people that have missed them over the years, um, and embrace everything. You know, it's a just say yes culture really. Um, just you know, get involved, talk to people that you don't know. And reach, you know, everyone's going to, everyone's friendly. There's no egos there, um, I don't think. Um, um, and we, <laughs> sorry, we got Mark there. Everybody's friendly, but yeah, we're a community, and 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 even those introverts like me that that have embraced it, that are happy now that I know people, and quite happy to be uh, extrovert around people I know. Yeah, um, it's it just took a little while for me to think that I was being accepted etc and I think that's key to just um, get your guards down get your walls down and, and embrace it no, I, I fully agree um, okay Rex Mark it's your call now to finish this episode all right well uh, first of all uh, well, thank you very much for being here, Cookie. Um, do you perhaps want to share how people can find you? Do you have a blog? Do you have a LinkedIn? Do you have a Twitter, X, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Pornhub? Tinder, anything? I am. I'm not on Tinder. Uh, <laughs> I mean, my wife's not here, so but she won't get to it anyway. Um, or Grinder. Um, uh, so. There's an equal opportunity event. Exactly. Yes. I don't care. I am quite looking forward to the 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 drag show i really i think you know um the one we experienced in hamburg has really set us up for some success yeah there. yeah that's the link there that blog um it, it used to be back in the day uh, yeah it's down there Anna. back in the day when things were d365 but that's my blog that's where i um set up shop and um, please uh subscribe etc but uh, yeah, it's one of those things i hate doing but yeah subscribe and tick things um, I'm on uh, LinkedIn and Twitter on the same handle so come and to connect me if you need if you want to good Thank all you. right and, and Sarah just messaged me to saying that one doesn't count either so I'm not sure how Ooh, things work. No. So, it's, like, it's like doing this and thinking you've all gone isn't it you know <laughs> you're not there now because I wasn't there I can't see you <laughs> so if there's anybody that could make a ruling on this it's Bibs. Who would be the person that would make the ruling on it? Bibi, I've already, I'm, I've, I'm calling him out. Bibi needs to pull his finger out and ban them from the next show. No. So, I mean, <laughs> why don't you go one higher than Bibi and just have me say it counts? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your, your tickets have cancelled, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so for me, that, that counts. That was the first pub quiz. So, I mean, not only not only have you won it you are the first winner of original it. you are the original, original with the OG. Yeah. yeah so so that has to be the the big flying thing so i mean yeah. just i mean i know we wrapped up there and i'm just going to bring this in for another 10 15 minutes because i can pub quiz have you entered it for this year i think so it's always one of those things yeah i did buy a ticket that was 
include everything, I think. Um, so you will always one of those things that I do that as soon as you announce it, and then forget what it happened, etc. But I will make sure that I've got um, a ticket. Um, Alice and I have been discussing while we've been um, deciding which year we won because we couldn't remember um, that we need to get a team together because um, Sarah and, and Zoe obviously have their stars and have the same team every year. We just generally pick up the weather on the day. Oh, which so is, you're actually getting, not, I was supposed to what I'm on for, strategic. So you're actually well, I, I don't think we need to be, it's still fun, isn't it? But uh, it's just, you have to, um, you're here then, huh? we'll just have to see who comes. I'd rather do that than take it too seriously like the rest of the yeah. Oh, I love it. It's just like so good. We have a strategy, we sit together, we have everything sorted. It's so good. Uh, we don't care about the fun. <laughs> that's, that's like Man City, isn't it? You know, you just, just win everything and get boring. Uh, yep. I mean, winning everything is, is the main thing, so there's no point yeah. in having something if you're not going to win. The main right. thing is we make some money for charity, Mark. That's the main thing. Exactly. Um, and obviously the night, so we've got the pub quiz on the Saturday, the night before, as as you mentioned, we have the, the drag cabaret. That is it's something, that was one of the first things we set up probably about a year ago. Mm. It actually started, it was going to be one drag queen, and that was it. It's now morphed into eight drag queens, a couple of drag que uh, drag kings, a DJ, a big ass dance floor. So it, it's going to be unbelievable. Like if you, and that's on the Friday. That's on the Friday night. Yes. Yeah. So that will be. I don't know where my session is. Please don't be make it Saturday morning. The schedule's all on the website, so go and have a look to see where you are. You, have um, well. you probably are yep. in the morning. Oh yeah, I know. I don't want to switch you until nine o'clock in the in the morning, but no, like like ge genuinely, like I've I go to a lot of drag shows. I've like when we were over in Vegas, I went to to RuPaul. We've done a few over here. We've done that. Genuinely some of the best performers and the biggest problem that they don't get sort of the mainstream attention is because they're yeah. doing it in drag like if if somebody like if one of the drag artists was doing singing as a male singer yeah. like they would be 10 times more famous than they are but because they're doing it in drag which is seen to be either sexual or deprived they, they don't get the attention and even with the drag kings the opposite way like drag kings are looked down upon even from some drag queens and yeah. it, it's quite quite an interesting dynamic but again with Scottish Summit it's never crossed my mind that there was such internal strife yeah. communities yeah and, uh, you know we went to the one in Hamburg and uh, that was such a great night yeah. that um, was so awesome absolutely brilliant and I think if that and if it's going to get any way close to that it'll be a good night and yeah We'll we'll have a good great evening, a great celebration of, of community and, and something different, yeah. I think. Yeah. And it's opening up that Scottish Summit also always does something different, always does something more inclusive. And having like yes. these drag kings on the bill, that's something that not a lot of places do. So again, Scottish Summit, even out with community and learning, is doing changing things. I know and, and was it twenty two that you had the 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 deaf guy that yep. did his yeah, language did. version. Yeah. I think that you know all of that inclusivity that we, that Scottish Summit seems to trans, uh, champion, and the others seem to follow you. I think that's been yeah. you know, great. Um, it was. We actually had a comment from somebody in Microsoft to say they like to see what we do so that they can do it at Ignite the next year. <laughs> <laughs> that that for me was like, oh, shit, really? Well, that's why you're going to be pink next year again, is it? Yeah, we'll just we'll just see what what happens. So yeah, it's it, it's interesting that, that that was the feedback we got. Cause I never never thought about it like that, but apparently that's they they do look at these sort of events and take what's done. I think every event has been led by you. You can see the the concepts that have been led into Hamburg, even the Canadian one, which was very much a European feel. 
that and, and then Nordic, you know, all those things that have, have stemmed from the way that Scottish Summit has started and learned from what you've done, applied their own flavour completely. But mm -hmm. it's that you can see the the nuggets of what you did and then it's just been expanded. They've taken the best bits and merged it in. Regionalised it and things, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And 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 made it their own and being famous for something other than than just the conference, you know, and I think that's um, power to you effectively and hopefully you'll carry on i mean you will have stupid color hair for still the next two months and all people are going to know is hamburg yeah well hopefully that will next haircut that'll go on <laughs> not a lot left i'm still you've still recolored yours out. so sorry you've recolored yours i've, I've still just got still the bleach me. look to the side who no cookie on the other side okay so you have like okay I've just got grey now with a white tip. Yeah, the, the blonde is going away. The, the yeah. So, to like mine, my problem is I like I went the same color color, color as Carl. That's a that's a tongue twister. The same color as Carl, and I just put some some dye in it. Now yeah. my son's a barber, so when I went into him, he was like, "You're a kid. You do know that every time you put this little bit of color into." the dyed bits to make you put some color. You're old, you've got gray hair, you're dyeing the grays as well. So like this oh. probably would have been out by now if I hadn't uh, and done that. Oh well, we yeah. raised a lot of money, Mark. Exactly, yeah. 10,000 euros. And I still have mine. Yeah, has it healed now? Yep. Good. I think you're even more you're braver than i am because that's permanent yeah yeah it's permanent but it's you know i couldn't afford to work with my hair dyed I, i'm on a customer site next week and genuinely do you know what i'll be really honest it's actually been a really good opener for conversations i can imagine i was in a final bid presentation the day after the, the haircut <laughs> in the hotel room in 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 hamburg and it was that I was just like, you know, it was an opener, <laughs> sort of a story, you know, and you know, went well that, so all good. So, so my my pitch has been, so I, I get asked to go and speak at all of these events, and it's always field service. Like I do a lot of pre sales on field service, so I was running a field service workshop at an event. They asked to raise some money for charity. We dyed their hair, while a blank go through the story, and it's like you're still saying i was there doing field service stuff i'm an expert on field service and we raise money for charity it kind of cements in that you're you're a good person and you've got the knowledge because you were running our workshops so. it's all about not being a dick at the end of the day isn't it and anything yeah. we can do to support that um, <laughs> and help exactly. so with that being said like the fundraising you kind of when we were in slovenia maybe potentially You've done the same thing again yeah but i've not heard anything back from you though so i'm i'm assuming that's not going to happen no no we're, i'm in the background working on the technical sides of this okay and making sure that we have people appropriate to be able to make you into what you need to be okay so we'll it might happen it might not happen but one of the things that we're looking at is we have got five volunteers who would be willing to dress up in drag? Can I ask who? No. Oh, come on. Just tell me <laughs> what. Well, I mean, do, do you know what? It actually went from like being four people, we need one more person, to being about nine people who volunteered. Okay. So on the list, we have Carl. We have Nathan Sweeney. We have Chris. Oh we God. have Matt. We have Daniel, Daniel Laskovich. Oh, my God. Yeah. We also have backup Will Dorrington, Andrew Welsh, and there was somebody else as well. The moral of the story is don't get drunk in places where the community hand go. Cause that's how you got your hair dyed. That's how I got my hair dyed. That's how I managed to end up being in Dragon Aberdeen. Wait, so, but you don't have any kings. You have queens, but you don't have kings. That's true. That is very true. Is that you volunteer? I, I just hear we have a fourth thing then. I don't even know like how that works, but 
I will be open to it. So your hair will get scraped back, you'll get a bald cap put on you, you may get some fake stubble. That, that's how we would go with it. I think I would like to do it. Okay, are you putting your name on the list as well? Yes. That, that, that was a tentative, what have I just done? <laughs> now, now well, this is recorded. We can edit this out, can't you, Anna? It's a solid yes. I will regret the moment that things are going to, to, to happen, but I think it's beautiful, so I will do it. If you need awesome. a volunteer, sign me up. I'm up for it. So, so, so we might even get the 10 people. So, so what I'll need to do is I'll need to speak to Lady Rampant to say, can we pair each person with a king or a queen <laughs> and then because oh, yeah. the plan is everyone who we raise money for will come out and drag at the very end of the show and do a catwalk and drag <laughs> that would be great that, I that's love what it. we're hoping for um so, oh, yeah. my God. i'm just googling now how the hell do i get you know, but I love it. I love it. I'm just, yeah. That's going to be an exciting Friday, then, isn't it? Effectively. Oh yes. It'll be quite, quite fun. Uh, Cookie, do you know the hashtag for this Scottish summit? Why are you asking me? I'm not the. Because she always forgets it. <laughs> hashtag SS 2024, maybe. No. Oh, there you go. No, I don't. Scottish Summit 2024. Okay. Rex, where do people can get their tickets? Well, the, the tickets are on, on screen at this time. Uh, so if you go to that location, you can get tickets for the drag show. You can get tickets for the pub quiz. Uh, during the pub quiz, there's also the community awards uh, ceremony. We also have on the Thursday some workshops we still have tickets for that they're also available and at the same url and if you're looking uh, to get some discounts on travel we have some arrangements with klm logan air hilton aloft scott rail uh, the details are on the website uh, so have a look and hope to see you in october in aberdeen thank you very much Perfect. all right mark do you want to say some like closing notes these are all awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Carl, for being here. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks very much. The Road to Scottish Summit starts here. This is the Power Platform Podcast. Join Rex de Koning, Anna Inez Urrutia de Sousa and Paddy Byrne as they talk to the Microsoft community about their stories.